become deeply moved by the citizens of Petersburg who have placed great confidence in me to put me into this office. Thank you. As many of you know, I am originally from Panama. My parents had a dream. Now, some people have dreams of becoming singers. Some people have dreams of being great engineers. And sometimes there are things as unimaginable, unimaginable dreams. Dreams where you just know that there is something greater out there for you, but you're not quite sure what that is. But you put your faith in God, and those dreams become bigger than you could ever imagine. My parents' dream as immigrants was to come here to build a much better life. My father served in the U.S. Army as an immigrant. My mother was a criminal court clerk in Panama. So I, too, will continue her legacy. This an unimaginable dream came to fruition today. Never did we think that a Romero would be an elected official here in the United States of America because of you two, because of your bravery to come here. I have this opportunity. My grandfather was a fire chief, my grandmother a seamstress, my other grandfather was an engineer on the Panama Canal, my grandmother a housekeeper for the people that worked on the canal. Hard workers, integrity, hard work, that's what leads us to those unimaginable dreams through prayer. Because of that integrity and hard work, there are some things that I promise I will do. In doing my job, I'm going to ask a lot of questions. Sometimes just a few, sometimes a dozen. But this is how I obtain information. It's simply a part of who I am. In doing my job, I will always speak the truth because of that integrity. In doing my job, I will always have the courage to have conversations, tough conversations, with our past leaders <coughs> and with our future leaders. Thank you, Joe, for your comments. Conversations that will allow me to serve the public better. As we move forward together, I want to leave you with this quote from St. Paul in this letter to the Philippians. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. The process has started, and I'm eager to begin working with each of you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. What a great way to start the decade. Thank you. Particularly to, of all the people present, the person who I think is going to remember this the most is Annalise. Her mom just got sworn in. She is the first citywide elected official in Petersburg whose country of origin was outside of the continental United States. That in and of itself is memorable. Annalise, you will remember this day for the rest of your life, and we are glad uh, that on this monumental occasion, you got to see your mom uh, sworn in office. I also forgot one elected official that is president, and that's the mayor of the city of Petersburg, <laughs> Sam Carroll. But I, I saved him for last on purpose because heretofore, when I was out in public, you know, I heard people greet him, Mayor Perham, Mayor Perham, nice to see you. Now he will be known as the wife of the clerk of the city of Petersburg. <laughs> We have so many great things in store for Petersburg, and you are now one of the leaders along with your beloved husband, uh, members of city council, the sheriff's department, the judiciary. Uh, we wish you good luck and Godspeed, and I'm sorry that I didn't deliver all of that in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me give you 
thanks for this day and ask for the grace of your Holy Spirit on all those assembled here today. In particular way, we ask for that grace upon your daughter that she begins a new life in public service, that you would remove from her any obstacle, any anxiety, any fear, any temptation. You remove from her any assault of the devil. We pray all this in your holy